All right, guys and girls, so what we're looking at today are microscopes, and this is the microscope you will be using uh, just to identify some of the pieces. This is the eyepiece because that's where you look down. Uh, here we have the stage, that's where you put your slide on. Here we have the objective lens. Now, the red one is the least uh, magnifying and it has the biggest field of view. In other words, you can see the most using um, this small one, and you need to know that. So, this one has the most range or field of view uh, then the most the second most magnification is the yellow one and then after that it is um, the black one or dark blue is it uh, so that has the highest magnification this is the stage and you have um, two pairs of knobs lol uh, the first one is um, the coarse knobs which basically cause causes all of this to move up and down by quite a lot and then finally you have the fine adjustment or the fine knobs which you move slowly and it causes just tiny amount of movement within the stage now the coarse knobs you use with the low magnification objective lens and the finer knobs the fine knobs you use with the other two objective lens now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making or, or getting cells from our cheeks I'm going to show you how to do that. So, what you do is you take a cotton swab, there it is, and you're going to collect your cheek cells. So, in other words, what you do is you open your gob, you press up against the cheek, and you really scrub like so. <laughs> And that translation and you twist when you're doing it as well so you're getting loads of cheek cells mm, 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 mm. and there you are on this there are loads of cheek cells can you see them of course you can't you need a microscope to see them so let me show you what you're going to do with your beautiful cheek cells once you've collected them what you're going to do is you're going to get a slide and this slide is basically where we're going to press our cheek cells onto. So here's my um, cheek cells which were on the swab. And I'm just going to press them and spread them in the middle of the slide. Right. Then what we need to do is we need to add a dye so that we can actually see the cheek cells under the microscope. So the dye that we are going to be using is methylene blue solution. I'm going to give you a hint as to how to use this, okay? Because one of the problems is, is that people end up really dropping out loads. So basically all you're going to do is you're going to see how easy or hard it is to come out of the bottle. So literally I've tipped it upside down and you can see that there are drops coming out. And it's at a nice steady drop actually, drop rate. So if you just squeeze a tiny bit and just get practicing how much you need to squeeze, in the sink and then yeah so I now kind of figure out how much pressure I need to put on in order to get one drop of methylene blue on out so go back to your uh, slide and where your cheek cells are you're just going to add one drop of methylene blue and that's done right once you've got your methylene blue on remember the reason why we do that is is it's because it's a stain and so we can see the different parts of the cells easily now one of the things is like i said it is a stain so you want to avoid getting it on yourself because believe it or not it will stain so now what we're going to do is we're going to apply a cover slip right which is a little square slip and what you're going to do the best way to do this now there's loads of different ways yeah but what i like to do is basically press the square down on the cover sheet Press the cover sheet down on the slide and just move it across and can you see what happened there? It just touched the side and now it's quite difficult for me to do because I've got a camera in one hand but what you want to do is you want to slowly and carefully just drop the cover slide. Bam, there you are. Now that's actually not bad at all, right? Because what we're trying to avoid are air bubbles and literally I think there's no air bubbles. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. One-handed as well. Check that out. So what we want to do though is we want to absorb some of the excess 
um, a methylene blue solution and we do that using a paper towel let me show you so here's my um, paper towel and I'm just gonna literally just place it in like just literally place it where the methylene blue is and just absorb it and you want to do that all the way around so that it's kind of a lighter color and it's not so dark now the other thing I gotta tell you about the cover slips is make sure that you just picked up one because they are really thin and really see-through and sometimes you kind of think you've picked up one but actually you've got two or three so I'm gonna do this all the way around the sides and I'll show you what it looks like at the end so as you can see it's become much lighter and now we can use the microscope I'm gonna show you how to use the microscope next now these types of microscope are called light microscopes because we use the light, uh, reflected light, to go through, uh, reflect off the mirror and go through uh, this area here where you can focus the light and the objective lenses are over. Uh, so basically the reflected light is going to go through the uh, slide which will be placed there and then uh, magnified using the objective lens. Uh, and that's the idea. So we want uh, you want to point this to an area where you're going to get lots of light reflecting. You're going to get lots of light reflecting here through this uh, hole. So that's the first thing you need to set up. And the way you know you've got a lot of light going through is you look through the eyepiece. So what I do, what I like to do is I like to hold that, place that away from any light source, and look through there, look through the eyepiece, and then slowly tilt it towards the eyepiece until the eyepiece becomes really bright. That's what I like to do. So that's how you set it up. Right. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the coarse knobs uh, to raise it, to raise the whole unit up, right, as high as you can. And you're gonna make sure that the objective lens is clicked in, and it's clicked in at the lowest magnification one. So that's the red objective lens then what you do quite simply is you take your slide and you place it onto the stage and you can secure it with these here so once you've secured it with the two whatever they call it uh, once you secure it there what you do is you slowly lower it down so you're looking through the eyepiece and you're slowly lowering it down until you get a clear image of whatever is on here, so your cheek cells. I'll put a picture up at the end of this to show you uh, what you get. Now, once you've found a nice image, right, you can focus it more using the fine knobs. And then, once you're happy with that, then you can move up to the next magnification, which is the yellow one. Uh, but with that, you're going to not use the coarse knobs because they won't work so well. You're going to use the fine knobs. And you might find that you even have to reset it all the way from the beginning. But you want the large field of view first and then followed by that. And that is the microscope experiment done. Now, once you're done with everything, right, um, here, as soon as you've done the swab, so you shouldn't really leave it hanging around how I did, but as soon as you've done it, you place it in the disinfectant. Right, so you place it in the disinfectant, you take your cheek cells, once you're done, you place that in the disinfectant as well, and then you place your microscope back. Just one thing about the microscope, when you're holding it, you hold it from here, like so. And as well, you hold the bottom. I'm not holding the bottom, because I've got one hand, but it's okay, I can do the bicep curls. But you're not allowed to do the bicep curls, okay? And that is that, ladies and gentlemen.